Hey everybody, Nate McAllister here from EntreResource.com. I want to show you one of my favorite tools and what it really does. It's called Text Expander, and I think a lot of people don't use it just because they don't understand it. And I want to show you exactly what it does, some real world examples, because I misunderstood it too when I first heard about it. I thought it was just a tool for turning long words like entrepreneur into short abbreviations like dollar sign E. You know, and you can do that, but that is not at all where it gets most of its value. I'm gonna show you exactly how Text Expander can help you in your business and how I'm using it to save myself hours, literal hours every month. All right, here we go. So first, there are very basic features that you can take advantage of, and I do them all the time. For example, if I wanna put my telephone number I can put TTL and there's my telephone number, right? That's pretty basic. And I can do other basic stuff too that's not uh, incredibly time saving, but just nice and convenient. Like if I type ER Home, it gives me my website URL. If I type YT Studio, it gives me the link to my YouTube channel studio. So that's all cool. Also, if I want to link to like an affiliate product, I could do dollar sign drive cart. And these are all short codes that I've created that allow me you know, just me to have access to these links and I can share them with other people if I want. So those are the real basic ones, but now let's get into the more complex ones because those basic things, those are what I thought Text Expander was really limited to. It's not, it is about uh, much bigger things. You can save canned replies and I'm gonna show you how I'm using them right now. So let's say in this example, I got a message from somebody that says need help. Um, let's add a little bit more to it. Um, choose file question mark so this is a common email that I get uh, a couple times each week I have a software and there's a part of it that's a little bit confusing and people have this problem where they're clicking on an icon and it's supposed to be a right click and they're doing a left click so it's an easy fix but I have to rewrite this email over and over and over again so what I've done is I've saved all of my most basic repeating uh, templates and replies for this software and I can access them with just five letters. So I type in at SS Pro and I get this really cool template. This is complex. Uh, if you're looking at it, it looks really complex. It's really not. Um, once I got the hang of it, this became pretty easy. But this is what it's doing. It's allowing me to, uh, it says, hey, and here's a space for the first name. I'll put, hey, example name. My name is so then I have this little toggle box that I added where I can have all of the people on my team. I share this with them and they can use this to reply. So my name is Nate. I'll be more than happy to help you today. Now I can choose these little toggle boxes. I have three of the common replies that I send. I've got one called choose file error, one called extra license or somebody wants to buy an extra license. And the next is called just not showing up. And then down here, I have a little box where I can add additional information if I want. So let's say that the problem is this choose file error. I, cl I click on that. Do I want to add any inf information? I'll say something like, usually don't add that to a support email, <laughs> but uh, you can add whatever you want down there. And that is just a little box I added and I press OK. And now it's going to give me all of that populated right here into my inbox or into the create mail uh, box, right? Now, without getting too deep into the actual tech side of it, there's a bunch of videos that already do that and they do it really well, so I'll just link to them down below. This is what it looks like. So I can edit any of this that I want at any time. I can add, put a comma there. My name is blah, blah, blah. I can do all of that. I can, I can edit it. I can add additional fill-ins. I could do a lot of stuff. And this is really a software that is only limited to your own creativity. That's why I love it so much. To me, it's kind of like Zapier, where there's so many things you can do, but you kind of have to be a little creative with them. And some of you are probably watching this and your eyes are just lighting up because you're thinking, oh my God, I have, I have these emails that I'm sending every single day and they're the same ones over and over and over again. Or let's say maybe you're a coder and you keep, uh, you keep doing the same exact uh, line of code every time and you just adds up. So what I do is I'll, I'll do something like this. Uh, I have an uh, email preheader that I use. So when I type in preheader, 
pops up like that, and then it puts my cursor right where I need it. So I put, yeah, this is really freaking cool. Stuff like that. Uh, just simple little things add up, and Text Expander is just, for that reason, my favorite tool of 2019. I only regret the fact that I didn't use it soon enough. Anyone can use it. E-commerce sellers, Amazon sellers, eBay sellers, uh, affiliate marketers, content marketers, bloggers, HR reps, coders, anybody that does anything on the computer can benefit from Text Expander. It's already made exponentially more for me back and time saved than I pay for it. So I highly, highly recommend Text Expander. If you're interested in saving time with Text Expander like I am, there is a 20% discount link down below in the description. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe.